Welcome to Hot Stuff from my Car Wars channel. Today's video is going to be super simple. I'm going to show you how to replace the transmission pressure sensor on a Chrysler transmission 45 RFE, which is found on Dodge Dakotas, Dodge Durangos, and some Jeep Grand Cherokees built after 2002. 2003, I knew I have a transmission 545 RFE. The outside of the transmission looks the same. Uh, the programming is what's different, but they all use the same sensor. The transmission pressure sensor is used by the computer to know what the pressure inside the transmission is. This information is used by the computer to provide the correct shifting pattern. The vehicle we're working on is 2002 Dodge Durango, so obviously it has a 45 RFE. Uh, the sensor is leaking. It's not malfunctioning yet, there is no trouble codes but because it's leaking it's about to shore something out soon so before that happens we're going to go ahead and replace it this is what the sensor looks like up close if your Durango or Dakota or Jeep Grand Cherokee whichever the vehicle you're working on is not lifted uh, you're probably not going to have enough clearance underneath to do this repair so you can do what we did which is lift you know, lift it up with the floor jack, put it up on jack stands, and you know, place the jack stands under the control arms and under the rear axle. This sensor is located on the passenger side near the rear of the transmission, right here. And it has a heat shield to keep the uh, heat from the exhaust from melting the sensor or the connection. But the sensor is located right here. If you look, up close there is fluid running down right there and then it runs on the back of the pan and then eventually it drips down on the floor first step is to remove the two bolts that fasten the heat shield the size that you need to remove the retaining nuts is a 15 millimeter socket if you use a long extension like this it's going to be the easiest way to remove them so remove the retaining nuts and then slide the heat shield out of the way. Next, use a flat screwdriver to slide the locking tab back. Once you've done that, then you have to press on this plastic tab right here with your finger, press on it, and pull the connector out at the same time. If you look at the connector, see how you can see the oil right there. You can also see it inside the sensor. So like I said at the beginning, if I leave it like that, eventually it's going to short something out. Because of the connection, it's going to get full of fluid. Remove the retaining bolt, which is located on the top of the sensor, using an 8mm socket and a ratchet. And once you break it loose, it might be easier to remove it with your hand. So there's the bolt. Once you're done removing the bolt, place a drain pan underneath to catch any fluid that may come out. And pull the sensor out. Just like that. See, so there's some fluid leaking. And if you look inside this sensor, see how it's dripping oil? It's definitely not normal. That's why I'm replacing it. Before installing the new sensor, clean the mounting surface using a clean shop towel. Coat the seal so the new sensor with a very light coat of petroleum jelly or tranny fluid. You know, one of the two. That way you won't damage the seals as you slide the sensor in. Once the seals are lubricated, go ahead and start the sensor back on. Make sure the bolt is tight. Before you connect the electrical plug, clean it with electronic cleaner. After the connector is clean and there's no oil on it, go ahead and connect it back on the sensor. Install the heat shield. Make sure the retaining nuts are tight. Start your vehicle. Make sure there are no leaks. If there are no leaks, go ahead and turn the engine off, lower your vehicle to the ground. Once it's lowered to the ground, start the engine again. 
uh, allow it to run for a few couple minutes check the fuel level if it's low go ahead and top it off with ATF plus 4 and that's it you're done make sure you subscribe to our channel we upload new videos every week also don't forget to visit our online store we have a great selection of accessories for cars, trucks and SUVs see you next time